Hey everyone. So recently I had gone through some um, YouTube videos looking up fairy stuff and I came across someone who suggested this book, especially if you were just starting to get involved in fairy related work. But this is Fairy Craft uh, by Emily Carding. And this book has uh, basically eight chapters in it with lots of different exercises, a ton of information that's from everywhere and a bunch of different kinds of people. Um, I'm not going to show you every little thing because, you know, this is a book that you should get for yourself if you plan on doing, if you plan on starting in any kind of fairy connecting and um, I haven't read all of it or anything like that. I've only gone through the introduction. And it's kind of like a little workbook you can work through. It's got, it's got um, exercises inside at the end of like each chapter and sometimes in the middle of each chapter. And so one of the things that she touches on in the introduction is that um, in traditional fairy lore, uh, humans would go to fairyland for something like seven months or seven years. It just depends. And it co coincides with the fairy star, which is the septogram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And even though it has eight chapters, she includes the middle as a balanced chapter. But um, the idea that I'm going to use is I'm going to do one chapter each month to explore my fairy connections and um, start getting involved in that and finding my way, my path. I've always been connected to the fairies. I've always liked collecting fairies and I've always talked to them and I could find the beauty in, in some of the, I'm not going to say odd, but it is for odd people, places. Anyways, so um, she suggests keeping a journal. So I have my journal that I'm going to be using. I've had this journal for a while. It's very pretty. It's nothing, you know, special on the inside. It's just simple pages. And what I like about this journal is that it only has the writing on, side on one page. And then it's got this other page on the other side that you can like draw stuff on or add pictures to, which I like the idea of, especially looking at some of the exercises inside the fairy craft book. Okay. Anyways, so I'm starting that this month. I'm going to do seven months. I'm going to do one chapter each month. And if you want to follow along, I will go ahead and make a playlist for just these videos. And I will upload one every single month to talk about what I'm doing with each chapter. And if you want to join in, feel free. You'll need to grab this book because I am not going to be telling you what's in it. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing with it. And I might give you some pieces of the information, but if you plan on following, following along, you'll have to pick up the book yourself. Um, so that's what I'm working with. And I'm probably going to pick a tarot deck or maybe, maybe I'll just use um, one of my fairy oracles. I have the fairy wisdom deck that I really like. I'll probably use that one. So anyways, um, after I get that set up, I will do another video to let you guys know about the first chapter, which I'm going to try to get read. By the end of October, it's a very short chapter. It only has one exercise in it. So I figured that it would be fine to start it in the middle of October and be okay. And that would mean that I'm getting done with this book basically around May. That's the goal. Okay, guys. All right. So short, sweet, to the point, kind of not, you know, not sure where I'm going with it, but we're going to find out. And if you want to join me, pick up the book and I will see you in a few days.